guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen. And today is the start of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which means 70 years she's been on the throne. Um, so, I'm taking you along with me today um, for an out and about kind of day because we are in Windsor. Um, the reason why we are in Windsor is because there's a beacon lighting tonight at 9.45 where we've been told by the internet that the Queen will be there at the lighting ceremony um, and also this should be a good location to see the fly past coming over um, that's supposed to happen kind of noonish. We chose not to go into London and fight those crowds. Um, but whoever who if you went comment below and let me know if you went um, and saw the trooping the color so yeah come along with me today for a very british day and it's sunny so points for that all right see you in a minute made it into Windsor and we're just waiting for the fly pass. We found a space right next to the castle um, so hopefully we'll get a good vantage point. Uh, so hopefully the next shot that you see that you see should be the actual fly pass. I've been joking because there's lots of British Airways flights that are going past. Is that the fly pass? I don't think so. So stay tuned for the real one. The Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty. We have lots to do here in Windsor today. And God save the Queen! Pass, which was amazing um, and finished by the red arrows uh, comment below if you could see the fly pass from where you were in the UK on Jubilee Day and now we're off to check out what's going on in Windsor maybe get some lunch everyone's here everybody in the country seems to be in Windsor today and I'm sure the case is the same with London and a lot of areas where things um, where the Queen actually will be later today so yeah, keep following along with this video and we'll see what we get up to.
parking. British people, comment below. Free parking, best day ever. Um, and so we're gonna get some dessert, walk around, see if we can find some parks, and then we're gonna take a look at Cambridge Gate, which is where the beacon lighting is happening. It's like 3.30 right now, and the lighting's not till 9.45, but we're gonna see our people lining up, do we need to get a spot, and what is going on, so let's go. Hey everybody, so I have an update. We have a front row seat to the beacon lighting, which is in approximately five hours. Oh, oh something's happening. Mm, let's see what's happening. That is the beacon. Um, and that apparently will be lit tonight. I'm not actually sure if the Queen will make an appearance out here, but she is here at Windsor Castle, which is what we're in front of. So maybe we should make a surprise experience, a, a surprise appearance, I'm not sure. Um, but we're gonna sit here anyway to watch the lighting and take part in the Jubilee. So um, wish me luck for the next five hours. Not entirely sure what we'll get up to because we're basically just sitting on this grass. Um, so it's a good thing we like each other. Okay, talk to you soon. Guys, the BBC is here. Let's watch. Okay, so I am not in Windsor right now. I am back at home. You've just seen all the footage of the beacon lighting and our day in Windsor, and I thought I would finish off this kind of day in Windsor uh, vlog style video from home. We didn't get home until 11.30 or midnight, um, and the queen did all of her lighting up activities from inside Windsor Castle. Um, so we did not actually see the Queen. Um, we saw the mayor 
of Windsor. Unfortunately, her microphone wasn't working, so we're still not sure what she said. Um, that was a very um, awkward moment when she was talking for quite a few minutes, but we couldn't hear what she was saying in order to respond. So we all just kind of stared at each other and then clapped at the end. Um, there was also a fireworks display over Windsor Castle. We did get a vantage point, but it, depending on where you were, you might not have seen that. Um, so honestly, it was worth doing the Jubilee experience, being in Windsor, seeing the flyover, going to the beacon lighting, but the beacon lighting itself for the plebs waiting outside the gates definitely wasn't like the experience of the people who were inside uh, watching the actual kind of her pressing whatever button was happening. They did their best. I think the crowds were a lot more than they expected um, because the news had said that the queen was not going to be in trooping trooping the color, trooping of the color. I'm really tired. Trooping the color. Um, trooping of the color. I don't know. She wasn't going to be in the trooping event. She was just going to be on the balcony, but the news said she would be at the Windsor Beacon Lighting. So I think a ton of people decided to come to the Beacon Lighting, not realizing, of course, that she was going to be inside Windsor, on the grounds of Windsor Castle. I think she did it outdoors, but it was still not in the area that the public could get to. Um, so I think they were planning for a more local event for the beacon lighting and ended up with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, as you could see in the video. Um, so I'm not sure what the people like very far in the back saw. I think they could have seen the fireworks, but there's no way they could have heard actually anything around the beacon lighting because they didn't have speakers set up um, or really any way for them to watch. I don't think, again, I think they were expecting fewer crowds and a more kind of local event for the people of Windsor and surrounding. Anyway, so that was my Jubilee experience. Very glad that we did it. Um, enjoyed taking you guys along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.